Mustang PEK3685 back. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to try and squish in as much as I can, as quickly as I possibly can. I'm going to show you my throttle stop settings, and it's running 8.60, and my MSI afterburner, okay? <clears throat> First of all, we'll go to throttle stop, okay? Now, feel free to pause this and copy my exact settings. Now, very quickly, I'm going to say speed shift EPP0. I would recommend this if you're gaming um, a lot. I game, I game a lot on my laptop. I don't really do much else. Zero means that it gets the maximum out of your CPU, okay? If you're wanting the maximum performance, zero is the best setting, okay? I was asked, does this damage anything? No, it doesn't, okay? Really important to remember that it doesn't. It just helps it perform better. Um, and the undervolting does help a dramatic deal at times. It can make such a difference. So once you copy these settings, okay, make sure you save it and make sure that that says turn off because that means it's on. If it says turn on, no. So make sure it's just the same as that, okay, and save it. Now quickly onto here, uh, you'll see you're getting the maximum out of the processor here, or just about, see it, 3980, very close to 4 gigahertz there, okay. Now, ProShot is on, you'll see there, okay. Make sure that those boxes are ticked the same as what I have, okay. Multiplier as well, 41T. Into FIVR, okay. Now, copy what I have here in this screen, if you need to pause it, do it, okay? Do it and follow everything I have. Really important, if you've never done this before, I need to point it out very quickly, right? Because in case you don't do it, the greyed out area, you need to tick unlock adjustable voltage, okay? Really important there. And make sure that it's the same settings that I have. Also, and I really think to point out very quickly, make sure if you're wanting the most out of your processors, all six cores are 41, because that, that will give you the highest performance from your processor, okay? So follow that to the T. Um, minimum maximum, 1 to 38 should be okay. And then just quickly down here, make sure it's okay, save voltages immediately. Then it'd be apply, okay. Alright? So you can pause that and copy what I have, okay? Right. On to TPL, again you want to do the same here, you want to copy what I have on the screen, okay? I'm going to point out to you very quickly, make sure that that is ticked, enable speed shift and throttle stop starts, minimum 8, maximum 41, make sure the settings that is on my screen here is on your screen, all those numbers, okay? And as I said, you should get good performance out of it, okay? <clears throat> Very quickly, as I said, I was trying to get through it as quick as I can. That is throttle stop there, okay? 8.60. Um, that is my current settings on throttle stop. So now we'll go on to MSI Afterburner, okay? The, this is my current setting on MSI Afterburner. You'll see it's at curve. Um, follow, again, these settings here. So bring that back and bring that back. Now I'm going to say to you really quickly... Profiles, there's four on here, okay? Um, I'm not going to go number four, I think, because I think it's the same as number one, and I've not realised. I've got three at the moment. I mainly use profile one, um, and that is what I have used for my benchmarks, okay? So I'm going to show you profile one, and this can be your starter profile, okay? So what you want to do is, here is you want to press Control and F, or sorry, select profile one, Control and F, okay? Now you're wanting to copy what I have here in a straight line, okay? Now I'm going to point out the value to you. Um, the value is... Two seconds. The value is 1721, okay? So 1721 right across in a straight line. That is my current setting, okay? Once you've done that, okay, you're wanting to save it. So what you would do down here is, is this is currently locked, okay? You would click the unlock, and then when you've done the first one, which I've just showed you there, you then click the we save icon, and it should save it, okay? Once it's saved, um, you make sure that it's got the red bit around it, and then you click the tick, see it? 
So control F is the same one that I've just showed you. Yes, okay. Save it. Press the tick. There you go. Profile one applied and you'll see up here it says curve, core clock curve. And you'll see the current settings. Base 1404 megahertz and then boost 4006 megahertz, okay. Current temperature, no games are running, it's 54. Now what I would advise as well is on the Asus FX504 GM, um, you can press FN, so FN there, and then the fan button. Now, this may not be the same on all laptops, and then you'll see in the screen here what comes up. If you are gaming, and you're doing intensive gaming, I would recommend Overboost, okay? Keep Overboost on at all times. You've got three profile options. You have, hold on. You have <coughs> silent, balanced, and overboost. Silent is if you're wanting as quiet a fan as possible, but again, temperature-wise, it may increase. Balance is if you want a, a good balance, and it'll adjust itself. Overboost is for intensive gaming. So if that's what you're going to be doing in this, I would recommend once you start, but just before you start gaming, put the overboost on the fan. Then if you stop gaming, you can adjust it, either modify it to the... The balanced or um, silent, whatever you like, okay? And that will keep your temperatures as good as possible, okay? You'll notice higher fan noise, but do you know what? It's worth it because you will get better temperatures, okay? Now, let's quickly show you these other profiles, okay? Now, this is the only bit that's a wee bit annoying, a wee bit time-consuming because these need to be spot on with numbers, okay? So, control F again. There's the curve for this profile, okay, profile 2. I'm not using that currently, but this is an R profile if you want to try it. So again, because of the brightness at the moment, which I'm sorry, I can't really do a lot about, I'll read the numbers so you can see the box that it's at and you can pause it. So that setting there's 1461, okay? And then we've got, if you bear with me, it's good when things go well, isn't it? And then when they don't, it's... <laughs> right, that profile there, okay, I'm going to see if I can highlight the line, yeah, I can, right, I hate when it does this, by the way, it's really frustrating when it does this, Um. okay, so it should be 1822, yeah, so that whole line there is 1822, okay, now this bit here, going back the way, I'm going to try it this way, that, the bit, the box there, this one, is 1809, then we have 1797, If, as I said, if you just pause this and watch it, because I'm not going to spend lots of time, it's 1771 is that one, that box, 1746 is that box, 1721 is that box, next one, 1683, 1645, 1620, 1544, and then last but not least, 1461, okay, which is the last one there at the bottom. So that is another profile you can try. I don't use it currently, but I'm suggesting that if you want to give it a go, again, all you just do is, you would just, after you've done what I've shown you, you manually put it in, you save it, okay. <clears throat> profile number three is the last one I'll quickly show you. Again, um, I'll just give you an idea, so we'll start with the straight line just now, right, so that's the bit further on, um, the straight line, I'll give you the exact, it is 1885, so 1885 from here all the way along, okay, then we go back the way, I'm just doing it this way so it's easy to tick the boxes, okay, um, we've got 1883 there, okay, this box here, oh, bear with me, this box that I've got the arrow at is 1797, the next one, 1759, 1759, and it goes all the way along to 1759 till we get to here, 1733, <coughs> Oh, come on, it's been a bugger again, come on, right, 1683, 
1645. See this um, MSI thing at times, you've got to click it umpteen times, I don't know why. 1556 and then 1468, okay. So that is the profiles that I've shown, um, that I, but I mainly use profile 1. To save it, tick profile 1 applied, keep it at that. If you want to lock it down, you just click the wee lock, okay. So that's MSI Afterburner. And then what I recommend you download as well, before I end this video, is Cinebench, okay. Now this will allow you to test your CPU, okay. So we'll do it. Let's do it. So you can do the OpenGL, which we'll quickly do, okay. We'll run that. And then it'll come up and say with this bit here, it'll, there's my numbers that I've set up for when I benchmark, as you can see, okay. They've appeared. Right, just say okay to this. <coughs> this will run a wee test with the car chase thing. And then it'll give us um, a reference match. So we'll just let it do its thing for a wee minute or so here. And you'll see it. So there's the current temperatures at the moment. Um, you can see yourself, look, it's all running at max. As you can see. Um, this is what you're wanting if you're gaming for performance, the, the most out of it. And I'm showing you how you do it. Um, okay. So that's the test done for that. And we have an 86.4 reference match, okay. Now we're going to do a CPU run um, test and this will load up this rendering image and it will render it and then it will give us a score, okay? So it will render just now. And you'll hear the fans kicking in because we're testing. Um, So after the rendering's done, we'll see how it comes out. So I've got a CPU score there, okay? So I'm just going to quickly show you this. So the proof is in the pudding, as they say, and look at that score there. 1,159 CB, okay? Now here's a wee comparison chart here, okay? Ranking-wise, right? <coughs> Look at the processors there that this is comparing it to, right? This is a couple of benches that I've done and I've been messing about with settings in the past. You'll see them, okay? That has given me 1159, which is my second highest benchmark that I've got, okay? 1171 has been my highest um, that I've had, but 1159 is there. So that's basically close to the highest I've had, okay? Sometimes it can be touch and go, it can change slightly, but yeah, it's pretty high. Um, the other one there that's comparable is the Intel Xeon CPU X5650 um, and it's practically it's like a 99.52% match um, and it's 2.66 GHz so again it's a bit more than my current one but it just shows you how close it is to it which makes it pretty damn impressive as you can see because if you notice that's got 12 cores and 24 threads so there you go, so that brings it quite close, and we have 6 cores and 12 threads with the i7-8750, there's the details, i7-8750 HCPU GTX 1060, there's the details there of my current, um, the current laptop, and it's 2.21GHz, um, obviously it boosts up to 41 gigahertz okay so there you go so that's me showing you cinebench as well very useful okay i'd recommend that you download that i'm gonna say yes to save my benchmark no okay and that says so there you go <coughs> and i've tried to squeeze in as much as i possibly can there okay you hear the fans can you hear them that was because i was running the test there so it's giving it a wee push but look at the temps you know, temps are really good, so there you go, give it a shot, see how it goes, feel free to like, subscribe and let me know how you get on and give it a try.
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.